this is my first animation in Flash using the Bone tool. Now I want to share with you the things that I've learnt so far, so this video is aimed at beginners. To summarise, Flash will recognise all the layers in your Photoshop file, so open the actual Photoshop file containing your animation first. Um, the Bone tool, really for success with the Bone tool you need to have every moving part on a separate layer, that is the key. The next step would be to convert each moving part or layer into a symbol such as a movie clip symbol. I think graphic symbols work too. So I'm going to open our Photoshop files. Right, so this is the file that I created earlier in Photoshop. Now I'm going to select the layers that I need for my animation. I don't want the background layer, layer 1, but I need the waving hand, waving arm, static arm and body layers. Flash has recognised the Photoshop files. If we click on the eye icon, we can toggle on and off the appropriate layers that we want to use. So for the bone tool it's very important that any moving or any part you intend to move has its own layer. Now I'm going to use the waving hand and waving arm layer in this demonstration. If we look into the library you'll see, look there's our Photoshop file with all the individual layers inside there. But what you'll find so I've removed the static arm layer as I explained earlier. If we try and use the bone tool and select it, an error message will come up. So these files are bitmap objects and the bone tool does not seem to like them. What we have to do is each individual layer, uh, I've selected waving hand and that's now selected. If I press F8 You've got the option here of uh, creating movie clips and that's what you need to do for each layer you need to create a movie clip file. Now I'm going to call this waving hand and OK. So I'm going to do that with each layer. Now the waving arm layer is selected. Press F8 and Okay, now the static arm I'm not going to use, but whilst I'm at it, I'm going to um, convert it anyway. So let's reveal it. So that's my static arm layer, F8. Okay, now body layer. Click on the body layer, and I think. If we modify, convert to symbol, look, it's the same thing. So, body. OK. And now when we look into our library panel, you'll see, look, these are the correct files for using the bone tool. Um, the bone tool will like these files. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to to a file, call it Queen Symbols, and I'm just going to organise the work as I go along and put these files into my new symbol folder. Right, so I'm feeling a bit more organised now. So this layer um, represents all of these um, parts so if we now go to the bone tool and select it, I should now be able to just click and drag. I'm going from the body to the waving um, arm and from the waving arm to the waving hand. Just clicking and dragging and letting it go. And you can see that it's been successful because each of the parts are um, you know are shown. So that's all good. 
Now, if I were to just move this, you can see look that the body pivots, and I don't really want that. So I can remedy that by going into properties. If I press Control Z, oops, I'm back to our position here. Now, if I select this part of the um, uh, armature and go into properties, there is a joint rotation button which you can un untick. So now, when I move my hand, look, I've got um, I've got a a body that's stationary. So. If you also look as well, look, you can see the armature layer is down in this panel. We've got the waving arm under it, but interestingly, we've got the waving hand above. 